What's up guys? I hope everybody is doing well out there. Uh, Lud and I have been recently talking about possibly buying a new vehicle. What are we going to do with the Kia? Well, we'll sell it. Got a good used Kia Rio here for sale. I know everything about it from day one when I bought it up to now. Uh, so if you're looking for a used vehicle here in Angeles City, contact me. Uh, but we've been looking at the big three. Toyota, Mitsubishi, Honda. Those are the big three here. Reason I say big three is because they're like the most popular uh, name brand vehicles here in the Philippines. I mean, they do have Kia, they do have Mazda, uh, Ford, Chevy, they have them all. But those are what I call the big three. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go with a car, uh, but I don't want a big, huge SUV. You know, like the, uh, you know, the, the Everest, uh, the CRV, you know the bigger type ones they do have mid-size ones toyota makes a rush toyota rush mitsubishi makes a what is it uh expander i think it's an expander endeavor expander and honda makes a brv so that's what we're going to go with the mid-size and all three of those vehicles they are all priced within the same range. You got your lower end, and then you get your higher end. Uh, I don't want, I don't need all the bells and whistles. I don't need automatic push start. And, you know, I just need the basics. Air conditioning, <laughs> you need air conditioning. Uh, you know, of course, it's gonna have power windows because there's no more cranking the windows down. Those that are old enough to know what I'm talking about, uh, we used to crank the windows down. Uh, so they're gonna come with that, you know, the power windows. Um, I don't need cruise control. Um, I think the expander from Mitsubishi does come with cruise control. I think that's the only one. Uh, maybe the others on the higher end do come with it. I don't need sunroof. Um, of course, it's gonna come with a radio. I don't need all that high tech stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're looking at uh, Today I went up to Honda looked at the BRV uh, matter, matter of fact, we were there the other day this today I went up there to test drive So I went up and test drive the BRV nice smooth running vehicle. Um, I liked it uh, I, I I haven't checked out the Honda or Mitsubishi yet next week. We're gonna do that plus not only that I'm gonna go to the bank let you guys know what's all involved for a foreigner to get a car loan here in the Philippines. Yes, a foreigner can get a car loan here in the Philippines. They can. I'm sure there's different restrict or different requirements and criteria that you have to meet in order to be able to get a car loan. But yes, you can. If anybody says, no, you can't get a car loan as a foreigner, do not believe it because I know other foreigners out there who have gotten car loans here. So, but yeah, like I said, that we're talking about it. We're just, we're throwing it around right now. The numbers come up okay. We'll consider it. Um, I'm not gonna jump on it right away. Uh, but anyways, that's what's going on. Like I said, my Kia, good. It, it's running perfect now. It's running great. Uh, now that I found I use two mechanics now, so I have two mechanics that I highly trust when it comes to troubleshooting the Kia, finding parts for the Kia. Uh, and that was the main thing here, was trying to find somebody, and I did find somebody finally. And like I said, there's two people I use here. Uh, but if you're interested in the Kia for a good price, I won't tell you the price. If you're interested and you're seriously interested, you will contact me through Philly in the Philippines Facebook page, and we can talk there. So anyways, like I said, I, I was just up at the Toyota dealer. I uh, got some prices and also got some prices on other cars. Uh, these are all 2021s. Uh, Pace are right now. I'm just gonna go straight 48 and uh, enjoy my uh, trip to the uh, Toyota dealer here in Angeles City. Philippines. All right, guys, we'll just start down here on this end. 
Uh, this is the HRV. These are 2021. You know what I'll do? I will put I will put a copy of their price list at the end. So if you want to check out what the prices are on them, um, HRV is starts at 1.296 million. The high end is 1.515 million. Nice, a little bit out of my price range though. The Odyssey is right here. This is the minivan, Odyssey minivan. This starts at 2.298 million high end or the low end the high end 2.718 million pesos 48 pesos on the u.s dollar i know people are going to say oh convert it over do a little bit of homework 49 point use 48 pesos for the u.s dollar here's a crv the crv is nice but like i said too much for what i'm looking at here is their price right here Top low end 1.678 million pesos, high end 2.178 pesos. CRV, nice. A little bit out of too much for what I'm looking to spend, but it is nice on the CRV. Then we have the all new city. This is one Lit and I was looking at what about a year or so ago. Really nice, really nice looking car. Here is their price, right here. Low end, 838,000 pesos. High end, 1.068 million pesos. Very nice. And here's the BRV. That's the one I'm looking at, the BRV. It's the midsize. BRV low end 1 million 38 pesos high end 1 million 178 pesos but this is it guys it seats seven I'm, I'm, let me start here in the back and I'll show you it seats seven um, this is your lower end model this pops up here's your seating in the back this folds down right here this seat this folds up so you get two here three there and two up front you got cup holders here cup holder here um, but like I said it's seat seven I've never had seven people in a car ever most I ever had in my cars <laughs> were four people at the most <clears throat> but it is nice right up here there's your air conditioning vents. I close this. I'll take you to the passenger side. Got this roof rack up top here. Here's your passenger side. Nothing fancy. That's what I like. Cup holder down here. Window powers. These seats flip up. So, and when you need to get in the back, he showed me, but I forget how it works. This seat actually flips up, and then you can get into the back here. Plenty of leg room in there. Here's the driver's side. Like I said, no major fancy bells and whistles. Windows, rear, front, window lock power lock your left mirror right mirror adjuster this is for your radio no cruise control windshield wipers or no lights windshield wipers on the other side a simple simple setup in here nothing let me hop in here a simple setup in here guys that's what I like I, I apologize if it's dark um, screen there, radio, Bluetooth through your phone, simple air conditioning, um, USB port, power port down there, simple shifter, 
plenty of room in here, plenty of head space in here. Plenty of head space in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm liking this one. I don't need all the bells and whistles. You guys are like me. <clears throat> I grew up cranking down windows. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cranking up and down windows. Uh, let me show you here. Here's the uh, Civic RS Turbo. Another nice car. Let me see. What are the prices on that? Civic. High, low end, 1.188 million pesos. High end, 1.635 million pesos. Nice car. Really nice car. Honda Civic RS. Here's another all new Honda. All new Civic. So, anyways, guys, let me let me go outside. Let me go outside here quick and uh, show you a little bit. Show you a little more. All right, guys, I'm back outside here. Um, I I like white. Me and look like the white. So we're gonna go. Uh, we decide we're gonna go with white. Let me show you the white here. This is the outside the deal here. Here it is, Honda. It's right directly across from SM Mall, which is located right over there. You can come here. They do have vehicles you can test drive. This is the one I was test driving. The all-new BRV 7-seater. This is actually a 2019, but same engine and everything like that. Just things have changed over a course, you know, the past couple of years. I liked it. It was a nice, smooth drive. Um, I think it rode nice. Then again, you never know until you actually drive a car for a long time what... Uh, <laughs> what it actually is like but here's the crv you can test drive the crv they, they have them all here for you to test drive i know sometimes you go to some of these dealers and they don't have any test drivers no test drivers uh here's the white one right here this is the one that Lut and i have been discussing about this is white i like the white why do i like white because it hides dirt <laughs> but that's it that's 2021. These are all 2021s. There's a gray or grayish color. BRV. Now these are the low-end BRVs. The more expensive ones have a few more bells and whistles on them. I think they have one over here in the back. So let me let me walk around here and see if I can show you. The one with the more bells and whistles. Seven-seater BRV. I think these are the colors. Red or white. This grayish color. Darker gray. Over here, they told me that... Okay, yeah, here it is. This is the upper end one right here. BRV. I kind of like that color too. Here's your upper end. I was told it, it has a fin, a little bit of things. It has the fin for the radio. It has a motion detector where you can come back there and put your foot up and that opens and closes. It has chrome trimming like that or uh, chrome doors just a little little things just tiny little things extra in this compared to the lower end um, this has an automatic start i guess you don't need a key there's something uh, but yeah there it is there it is you know what guys let it let me know let me know if you've heard anything good bad about these brvs uh, like i said we're looking right now we're gonna also going to check out because honda mitsubishi they make mid-size ones just like this i've kind of been checking them out they all run about the same price range they're not crazy expensive um, each has their pros and cons um, 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think. The BRV, Honda BRV. And uh, with that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, the sick, the elderly, and the young. If you have pets, take care of your pets. Leave the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, take the time to subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.